Item 6, approval of board objectives and policy 6.1, policy 930, post Instead of non-bargaining non -bargaining unit employees, that's new, it's a second read of the Second. Comments, questions? Um, just, no. Okay. Um, I'm just going to read it. Is that, uh, that 6.1.1 that you're doing right now? Yes. Okay. The next 6.1.2. Or is that all part of it? That's all part That's of it. All part of that. um, then I just have a, a question on 6.1.2. Yeah, it's all 6.1. Uh, okay. Uh, under 6.1.2, uh, the paragraph under number two on that page, uh, it makes reference to uh, 90 days following the employee's retirement yeah. date. Uh, is that enough time? Is that enough time for SERS? We try to run uh, a calculation in advance. One of the things is that we, uh, this, this program will require the individual to uh, let us know two years in advance so we can already do, do some of our own calculations. And then they get the paperwork in to SERS. We've been finding that they just, gives us just about enough time. So do we want to lock ourselves into that 90 days because we all know that sometimes it's a surprise uh, when SERS does the calculation uh, and then it you know, still could come back to us for a penalty. Uh, uh, are we sure we want to lock ourselves into this 90 days? I think that's a good point. Maybe that should be rephrased 120 days or less. So that would give us that, I think. Or we'll take a look at the time on that. If, if we could have your approval on this and with the with the allowance that we'll uh, take a look at that date and do something. Because I, I, when I was reading that, I actually circled that too, and I thought, you know, maybe we are locking ourselves in. So we'll we'll take a look at that. I agree, well, I actually, I agree to changing it. Yeah, uh, 120 days or less, that uh, gives the flexibility sure. to, you know, so if it is only 90 yeah. days, great. Uh, but this way we don't mm -hmm. get locked into something that we might not be able to deliver. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, wait a you want to accept the 120? Yes. Mm -hmm. or, less? <coughs> or less. Who is the second? I mean, I was. Okay. Changing that language. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. okay, now you got to change. By right, roll call. Thanks, Barbara. Thank Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshawa? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Kashgari? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Howland? Aye. Uh, approval of the minutes, item 7. 7.1 7 is a resolution approving and ratifying the bills. Authorizing budget transfers and accepting monthly financial reports. I move to pay the bills. <laughs> Second. Okay, discussion. Well, I'd like to pay the bills, uh, but it appears to me as I was looking through these that there may, in fact, be some inconsistencies and some irregularities uh, in regard to various <coughs> travel reimbursements, uh, at least some of them. And, uh, also that some of them may be being charged uh, to the wrong account. Uh, and so since this is already a done deal and after the fact kind of thing, uh, I'm not going to vote uh, to support this resolution. But also know that I have talked to the chairman about this on uh, several occasions, uh, and uh, we are going to schedule a meeting so we can uh, see if we can clarify what's happening with this. Yes, we will. Okay. Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? No. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Kashgarian? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. 7.2 resolution adopting 2015 tax levy. So moved. Let's take a motion for second. Comments? I was assured at the last meeting that we would not leave any money behind, so I support this. <laughs> Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Kashgarian? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Howell? Aye. 7.2 is a resolution debating the tax here for two levied for the year 2015 to pay the debt service on the general obligation bonds. Alternative revenue source series 2013A and the general obligation bonds. Alternative revenue source series 2013. A community health district 532, our county of Lake, state of Illinois. I'll seek a motion for that, please. So moved. 
Second. Any comments on that? Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshire? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Approval of the purchasing item 8, uh, nothing under 8.1. So we'll move to 8.2, non biddable items, and 8.3 disposal. I'll try to take both of those at the same time, please. Second. Discussion. Nice to see a gurney firm in there under budget. Mm -hmm. How is it that carpeting is not biddable? It's the second. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Well, it's the second year of a three year. Okay. Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshire? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Under item 9, grants and uh, contracts and grants, uh, none tonight <coughs> are report upon. And so item 10, um, approval of the programs. Uh, this is referred to earlier as well. So we'll do 10.1, the resolution of the fund. Science building construction. I'll seek a motion for that, please. So moved. Second. Comments, discussion. Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshager? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. 10.2 is the resolution to fully fund the MAP grants, as we've discussed. I'll seek a motion for that as well. So moved. Second. Comments, discussion? Uh, this, this again is one of those where we're putting the money up in advance and depending on how the state budget process goes, hoping to get it back exactly. And uh, this cannot keep standing like this and we cannot keep doing this. And somehow those powers that be have to know that this is killing us and killing our financial picture, our financial future and the future of our students. It's 840,000, by the way. 840,000, yes, almost a million again. Roll call. Bill? Yep, oh, um, do we, uh, do we have a, like a drop dead date, <coughs> or do you know what the drop dead date would be uh, for next fall? Uh, we, don't, we, we don't know. So we haven't looked fall. that far out. You mean for math funding, like yeah. Yeah, So typically, so, like uh, last year, because I'm not real encouraged by what I'm seeing, yeah. uh, and a new state budget's going to come out in February, and we may not even have a state budget for this fiscal year by the time that happens. Yeah. Uh, so one of the rich is right. I mean, we can't continue to keep doing this. Other schools have already said, you know, they can't do it. Yeah. Well, I think it, I think that's just a really good question for the finance retreat, so that we can kind of take a look and maybe a better picture, maybe. In February. And one of the things that we did for spring is, in essence, hedged our bets to tell students in the event that, the, that we couldn't fund for spring, to tell mm -hmm. students this is pending the budget mm -hmm. impasse. Uh, and we'll likely do that in fall should we be in a similar <coughs> situation, which will give us some additional flexibility, although it doesn't help our students plan. And do we, when would that decision have to be made? Um, Start, uh, regis we start uh, registration, priority registration starts in April, so uh, yeah. you, uh, you need to make people, people, remember, people start to register, so yeah. people want to know if they have the money. <laughs> and so I talk in April when they start yeah. registering. Yeah. I think the uh, prudent thing to do would be to continue to tell students that this is pending, uh, pending budget. Thanks. Yeah. Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshager? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Item 11 is the approval of the human resource recommendations. 11.1 .1 is resignations, retirements, and the settlement agreement. Uh, we are only going to vote on 11.1. .1 11.1.1 and 11.1.2. We're going to hold 11.1.3. We're going to seek a motion to approve 11.1.1 .1 and 11.1.2. So moved. Thank you. Second. Comments? Discussion? Roll call. 
Ms. Nada? Aye. Mrs. Oshar? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Dr. Griffin? <coughs> Aye. Ms. Howard? Aye. 11.2 is positions, additions, reclassifications, deletions, and vacant positions. Let's take a motion for that as well. So moved. Second. Comments? Questions? Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshar? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Halla? Aye. Uh, and uh, item 11.3 is full time employment. So I'll need a motion on that as well, please. So moved. Okay. Any discussion, comments? Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshar? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Howell? Aye. With that, uh, we'll go into closed session uh, for the reasons I stated earlier. And prior to that, we'll take a short break uh, for a few minutes, <coughs> a few minutes, and we'll reconvene at 7.40. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I need a motion, please. So moved. Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Mrs. Oshar? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Howard? Aye. All right, let's take a short break. Mm -hmm.